welcome all today i am going to discuss about the smoke versus sanity testing so first of all we discuss smoke testing testing the basic or critical features of an application before doing the thorough testing or regressive testing is called smoke testing it means what is what is the meaning of smoke testing that whenever you are planning to do the deep or regress testing before that first of all we should focus on the basic or critical features for the testing and this is called smoke testing it is also known as build verification testing why it is called build ver verification testing because in this testing we check whether the build is broken or not so that tester can decide whether the build is testable or not okay now uh, whenever a new build comes in whenever new build comes in we always start with the smoke testing why we because for every new build there might be some changes there might be some changes which might have broken a major feature right so what happens that whenever new build come there might be chances few changes are there and might be due to those changes your build is broken so fixing the bug or adding a new feature could have affected a major portion of the original software so in smoke testing in smoke testing we do only the positive testing what do you mean a positive testing we enter only the valid data and not the invalid data now when to do the smoke testing this is very very important question developers develop application and gives it for the testing so what developer do they just develop the application and then they just uh, pass it to the testing phase testing team will start with functional testing suppose here we will exam take the example that suppose five days are given for the functional testing okay five days are given for functional testing first day we check one module second day we check another module on the fifth day we find a critical bug now when it is given to the developer he says it will take another three days to fix it then we have to stretch the release date to extra three days now you got the problem now the uh, question is that then how do we overcome this so now the thing is that observe how smoke testing works here now you have to focus on smoke testing how it works here in the above scenario instead of testing focus on this point instead of testing module by module deeply and come up with critical bug at the end this is not a good thing instead of means whatever you are doing you are just testing one module in the deep then you are going to the second module in the deep third module and at last suppose you are coming with the bug and when you are coming with the bug it is better to do smoke testing before we go the for the deep testing reason is that in each module we have to test the basic or critical features and then proceed for the deep test okay so now the th other thing is that why we do smoke testing why we do smoke testing so the, the thing is that just to ensure that project is tested we make sure that we are going to test the product so product is stable product is stable do smoke testing in the beginning catch bugs in the basic features we should do the smoke testing in the bug beginning so that we can get the basic features related bugs in the starting send it to the development team so that development team will have sufficient time to fix it so it will not make a delay on the release now the third point is just to ensure that product is installed properly what happens sometimes that uh, when a uh, software uh, you can say build is released your environment setup or other environment things that is related to the api some other libraries server setup now sometimes what happen they also create a problem and what we do we just test one module in the second module and third module we got this type of so now with the help of smoke testing we can ensure that product is installed problem what other points we should remember that whenever we are doing a smoke testing we do only positive testing only valid data is entered second thing is here we test only the basic or critical only the basic and critical features here we take basic features and test for the only for important scenario again we are not going to the deep so we are not going to cover each and every scenario we are going to cover important scenario whenever the build comes to the customer before the customer or client does acceptance testing at that time we should he also does a smoke testing before doing the acceptance testing and the last remember point is that when the product is stored in the production we do quick smoke testing to ensure product is stored properly so these are the reason why we should do the smoke testing now the second thing is sanity testing sanity testing is a kind of software testing 
performed after receiving a software build with minor changes in the code or functionality. So when we do the sanity testing, sanity testing actually always should be performed when tester receives a software build which contains minor changes in the code of functionality and we have to ascertain that the bugs have been fixed and no further issues are introduced due to these changes so for this purpose we do the sanity test the goal is to the goal of sanity testing is to determine that the proposed functionality works roughly as expected so the goal is to determine the proposed functionality is roughly we just make sure that it is working as expected if sanity test fails the build is rejected. If the sanity test fails, the build is immediately rejected to save the time and cost involved in the more regression testing. So this is the benefit of sanity testing. Now we'll see the difference between the smoke versus sanity. In the smoke testing, smoke testing is performed to ascertain that the critical functionalities of the program is working. Critical functionalities of the program is working. That is the part of smoke. In the sanity, we do done the sanity testing we do the sanity testing to check the new functionality bugs have been fixed now second point in the smoke testing is that the objective of smoke testing is the to verify the stability of the system in order to proceed with regress testing stability is focused on the smoke testing and in the sanity we focus on the verify the rationality of the system in order to proceed with more regress third point in smoke testing is that the testing is basically performed by developers or testers. So both can perform the testing of smoke, like developers and testers. Sanity testing and software testing is usually performed by testers. Smoke testing is usually documented and scripted. And sanity is usually not documented and unscripted. So now the next point, now you can say fifth point in the smoke testing is it is actually smoke testing is a subset of acceptance testing and in case of sanity this is actually a subset of regression testing a smoke testing testing exercises the entire system from the end to end smoke testing covers the entire system testing from end to end sanity testing exercises only the particular components of the entire system are you getting my point and now the last the point which is actually a best example to understand the difference between the smoke and sanity, that is, the smoke testing is just like a general health checkup, and sanity testing is like a specialized health checkup. I hope you got the difference between the sanity and the smoke. And if you like the video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you.